Hello everybody, my name is Tamilola Mike Pamiloye and I'm here to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive notifications and updates on new movies that will be dropping from time to time. So if you subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not, please subscribe. Competition we've all been waiting for. Today, we're going to see who will give us the very best. Now, I want to welcome David Edward to give us his presentation on My Hero. David, please. Luther King is a man of unquestionable integrity, upper with a strong pursuit of excellence. He's a man of moral standing whose uprightness cannot be over. 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 My father. Excuse me? My father. Thank you for the gift of life. I thank you, Lord. I don't thank you for the pains of yesterday. But I'm focused on the gains of tomorrow. Thank you for grace that you have given me. Oh God, be glorified. I thank you for my son. Lord, I bless you for Joshua. Thank you for... He's broken. He's bruised. He's even battered. But I'm trusting you that you're going to bring back the glories of the latter house and you are going to restore the joy of his salvation. I thank you for my son David. Oh, that vibrant young boy. Thank you. Thank you for him. Thank you for the grace upon his life. And you are going to take all the glory. Lord, I bless you. I bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen.
It's okay, sir. I'll be there, sir. No, 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 not at all. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Abraham. Do you know the tale of the rat and the elephant? Rat? No, sir. I'm upset. I'll be okay, sir. Thank you, sir. See. No, sir. Thanks. I told my daughter that story when she was a little girl. <clears throat> the company of elephants decided to go swimming. And a single rat, I mean a single rat, tried to stop them. Do you know why? No, I don't, sir. It's simple. It's because the rat believes that the river belongs to his father. How is he going to stop them? I don't know, sir. He cannot! Mr. Abraham, he can't! And the reason is simple. The elephants are too much for him. They are too big for him. Sir, the budget, I can't sign those figures. They are incorrect. They are too big for me to sign. They have been falsified. <laughs> In this context, you are the rat. And there are elephants that are very desperate to have their way. Trust me. Trust me. We will have our way. There are options open to you. You either sign this budget and get your reward. Or you are thrown out of this office shamefully. With due respect, sir, I'm a child of God. And, um, I can't do what you're asking me. It's against my faith. Have you ever wondered why your four months' salary is yet to be paid? Sir? You're excused. Sir? Out of mouth.
I start be maybe this should come here come read. Guy, she disturb you. She no bad do. Guy, she's not my taste. Guy, gosh, you say no be a taste. Eh? Hey. Don't say I be big boy for this campus. In your dream? In my dreams. Yes. I drop your money if you show for you. You know what? Wait a If you toast her mm -hmm. and she grits, 10 grams, no qualms. But if you toast her and she no grits, you home me. No problem. You home me. You can't wait till she learn. When she grits, I go use her. I will dump her. I will come do her as you ever do her. I will come pass her. Come your side. Mm. Bad guy. I'm sorry, but I are you related to um yeah Fadi Kemi yeah Fadi Kemi no I'm not but uh eh. sorry for disturbing you I didn't really mean to I'm sorry so I don't understand uh, what's a pretty girl like you doing in a lonely environment like this like yeah. Uh, I've been noticing you here yeah, for quite some time now. Okay, um, you come here regularly to read and um, I admire that and I want us to be um, closer to each other. Ah, sorry. I'm Joshua. Okay, I know what you're reading is not sinking. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably staring at the letters of this in the book. Like, please say something, like anything, even if it's an insult. Uh. My name is Esther. <laughs> wow. It's a very beautiful name. Like, sorry, I can't anger with you. Uh, but why? My dad won't allow it. I can't convince your dad. Please. He's a king. <laughs> you see, my dad. Eh? My dad is a is a senator. Really? Yeah. So you can face my dad. <laughs> Babe, I've sat face to face with the governor, senators, commissioners, and. Uh, I've sat with a lot of people. Like, yeah, yeah, he has, it has given so much exposure. Right? So, why do you follow him all around? What about school? Um, I'm his personal assistant, and um, there are so many responsibilities on me. I just have to take up the challenge. That's is, cool. Yeah, so. Alright, so we should hang out then. Yeah. Sure. On one condition. Alright, uh, shoot. You get to see my dad, and you tell him he wants to go out with me. Is that all? Yes. <laughs> Alright, um, see, I arranged the meeting and um, I'll check my, um, my schedule. Shouldn't you be scared? <laughs> of what? Meeting my father, the king. See, yeah. I've sat, I've once sat with the president. Your father is nothing. Excuse me? Oh, sorry, I, I really didn't mean that. It's I, okay. Uh, no problem. I'll fix the meeting. Alright, no problem. Uh, are you going? Yeah, I have a pass. Bye. Alright. God! I tell you, I have a boss. <laughs> For this camp, boss. Any idea? Oh, but you don't owe me with that, though. 10 grand. Sabi, so to me. If you use one month, if I want semester, I say no go catch you there. One semester, you tell me, see, tell me. I, I'll get my money. <laughs> Martin Luther King is a man of unquestionable integrity. Upward with a strong pursuit of excellence. He's a man of moral standing, whose uprightness cannot be over, over, over. Overemphasized. 
I can't remember it. David, you are presenting our class in this oral essay. That is why you have to put in your best. I'm trying to memorize it, but it is not sinking. You need confidence and charisma. What is charisma? It is a certain feel of magnetism. What is magnetism? A style of allure. What is allure? Swags. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. What is swags? David, the audience has to see this straight in you. It will make them believe that all is well, even if you have forgotten what you have to say. Now walk the way I taught you how to on the day of the competition. <laughs> I feel like walking that way. I look like a zombie. It's not about what you like, David. It's what the audience wants to see. The audience wants to see a boy with confidence and charisma. Now walk. Very good, very good. Slowly but confidently. Do you feel like a confident and charismatic person now? I feel like a miserable person. David, with great composure, you can actually win this competition. Auntie, please. David, walk! Hello, sir. Hello? Mr. Landlord. Uh, yes, sir. Hello? Today is the day of reckoning. Today is the day of judgment. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, 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 hey, I, I know your type, oh. Where is my money? Where is my money? It is when you begin to hear house rent that you will not be saying there's no network. I, I put it to you. If my money is not available first day tomorrow morning, my boys and I will be in that house that belongs to me. Hey, and we will throw your lords outside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, you will need to bear a little patience with me. I'm, I'm having a problem, very small problem at my place of work now. And you won't believe it. For the past four months, I haven't been paid my salary. That is not my business. I put it to you. First thing tomorrow morning, if I get to my house and my money is not ready, I will throw your things outside. And you know I don't make empty threats. You know? That day, you people should do something, you know? Yes, yes, okay. Where, for God's sake, are you coming from at this time of the day? Look at the time. This is after 12 midnight. You are even drunk. Where I go? 
and what I do with my life is none of your business. It is my business as long as you stay under my roof. I can as well leave if you want me to. Where did you put the fear of God in you, young man? Fear of God? The fear of God died when mom died. Three years ago, your love for God was unmistakable. But now, look at you. You wallow deeper and deeper into immorality. Three years ago, mom was dying. We cried to God. We cried to him because it was only him we could cry to. But let her die. And is that your reason? Is that your reason for giving up your salvation and for backsliding? I'm not listening to this. You will listen to me. You are giving the devil the license to destroy your life just because of the loss of your mom? You think your immorality will move God? You think your waywardness will bring, bring back your dead mom? I'm not listening to this. You come back here. I'm not listening to this. Come back here and sit down. I'm not sitting. Come on, you sit down there. I'm your father. I said, sit down. I'm there. Sit. Oh my God! I felt most the impact of your mother's death. You have no idea the loneliness that overwhelmed me, the pain that stabbed me. But there is the water, and there is the fire of life. And I took consolation and comfort in the word of God that says that when you pass through the waters, it will not overwhelm you. And when you pass through the fire, it shall not burn you. Listen, listen to me. You lost your mom, but a certain young man called Joseph lost his entire family when he went into slavery in a faraway land. Yet, he kept close to God. From slavery, he went into prison. Still, he kept close to God. But from prison, God lifted him and put him on the palace. And God stayed with him. But here comes a certain young boy called Joshua. You lost your mom and you gave up your salvation. Eh? Oh my God. Now you put these two pictures together and tell me which one God guards attention. Tell me the steadfast one or the coward. Hmm? about the money. Where is my money? I, I, I'm working on it, sir. Ah. Go in there, pack your things, and leave now. Sir. Sir. Uh, but where to, sir? Don't ask me such stupid questions. As far as I'm concerned, you can go to hell. So where do you want her to go? You can go anywhere you, you feel like going. Please, sir. Either you pack or I pack for you. Yes, I will get you the money, sir. Bad day! Consider my children. Don't they! Please don't push us out, sir. Get out of my way. I will get you this money. I have heard that over and over again. It has become your national thing, you know? Please, sir. Don't push us out of this house. This is not the first time I will be hearing this on you. Let me make this promise. This last promise. I will get you the money. I do not listen to the promises of a poor man. You see, for how long do you want to put me on hold? My patience has run out. What did you just call me now? 
you and I know very well that poverty runs in your blood. And those ones yet unborn. Go and pack your things now. Where are we going to die? I said, go and pack your things. We are leaving here now. Where are they going? Packing out as you have instructed. Where are we going to die? I said, go and pack your things. Where we are, are they, leaving where this. Where are they going? Yeah, answer his question. The birds of the air do not sow or reap. Yet our Heavenly Father feeds them. These ones are more valuable to God than birds. Now, we are leaving this place right now. Go in. Don't let me repeat myself. But Dad... Shut up! Go and pack your things! Don't shout at them! Uh -uh. Why are you in such an hurry to, to, to leave? Uh -uh. Mr. Abraham, you have such a terrible temper. Uh, you see? Fine. I changed my mind. You stay this week, you leave the next. And I say, we are leaving today. Today! No! 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 Yes! 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 But Dad, where are we going to stay? My friend, would you shut up? Young man! <laughs> Don't shut him up now! You tell him, he deserves to know. Where are they going to stay? I said, birds of the air. Those are animals. These are human beings, you know. I give you till next week. If by then, you still default. I don't think I will have anything left in my mind to change. Okay, next week you come and collect your money and the keys. We are going to a better place, okay? Hmm? As for you two big fools, I do not know your usefulness in the world. If I cannot call your names and you answer, look at the way you embarrassed me here. Carrying empty chests, and we are in singlet like Pamari's Kuchi Dread. Hey, Dad. To help me, I have so many tests to write, and my notes are piling up. Yes, Daddy, I need strength and grace to read them up. Really? Thank you, Daddy. I really appreciate. I love you, Daddy. Bye, Dad. Oh, so your dad helps you with um, assignments, class notes, and all that? Yeah. Uh, how does he have the time? He always has my time. Would you like to speak uh, with no, him? No, 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 no. Why? Uh, it's a king we are talking about here, for crying out loud. But you're the senator's son. You've met with the president, governors, commissioners. This should come naturally for you. Wait, wait, wait. Did you tell your dad I was the senator's son? Of course I did. Oof. The more reason why you want to speak with you. Oh. Good. What? Sorry, I said, oh, good. Okay. You see, All Esther, right. I just want this to be about you and her. You see, it's not your father and her. What are it's you doing? Ringing. Are you calling your dad? I'm not ready to talk to him. Esther, see, I'm not after your dad. Esther, I'm not ready to talk to your father. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Remember the boy I told you about? You called me, boy. The one interested in me. Is here. I would like him to speak with you, Daddy. Okay, Daddy. Uh, hello, Dad. Sorry. Hello, Your Majesty. Hello. Hello. hello? He's not answering. Let's try one more time. Perhaps he doesn't want to talk to me. He wants to speak with you. I'm not ready for this. I just want to be a normal school friend. I don't have the intention of dating you. See, tell your dad I just want to be a normal school friend. Calm down, it's not that bad. Esther, it's very bad. It's the king we are talking about here. 
I think he's hanging up. He wants to speak with you. How sure are you? Because I am not hearing his voice. That is because you are not following him. What? My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. You can't hear his voice because you are not following him. Who the hell are you? I'm a princess from a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A peculiar child caught out of darkness into his marvelous light. Joshua, this is how I sometimes talk to my Heavenly Father in public. Jesus has been offering you an invitation to be his child, yet you are resisting him. And that is why you can't hear his voice. <laughs> Two years ago, I lost my parents to a plane crash. And my whole world came crashing down. But I remembered, Jesus stretched out his hands towards me and said, I'm the father of the fatherless and a defender of widows. With Jesus, I have everything and I lack nothing. But without him, you have nothing and you lack everything. Joshua, there's this emptiness in your heart only Jesus can fill. This heavy burden, only he can lift. He said, come to me, all who have heavy loads, and I'll give them rest. Joshua, it's time to take his rest. Take his rest, Joshua. Take his rest. My father, I want to specially commit my son Joshua into your hands. He is a great kid, but the devil wants to destroy his life. And that's why he's living as he is living now. But please, I ask of you, have mercy on him. Deliver him, even Joshua, in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore his salvation and grant unto him again that he would rise in your presence. He is badly battered. But I ask of you, Father, renew his love for you. Thank you, Father. I pray in Jesus' name. Lord, glorify your name in my life. Help me in all my actions today to conform to your will, even when I'm under pressure, by your spirit and by your power, and glorify your name. Oh, Josh, good morning. How are you today? Please, you would help me take David to school and um, tell the- Daddy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Daddy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Father, I thank you for today. Lord, I thank you for my son. Lord, I thank you for my son. I thank you for Joshua. Thank you for restoring him back to you. Now, Joshua. Yes, Dad. Just stop crying, okay? Okay. Father, I thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing me back to you. I thank you for bringing me back to you. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you for saving my, my soul. I ask that you forgive my sins. I ask that you forgive my faith. And for redeeming me. And to your dear son. As well, we kept something. Amen. Just write his word with him. The Lord keep you. Amen. Amen. 
Yes, please, come in. Hello. Oh, Pastor Daniel. <laughs> so good to see you. Good to see you too. Please take a seat. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you so much for coming to see me, sir. <laughs> Actually, I was just walking by and I decided to check on you. Oh, thank you, sir. That's so thoughtful of you. I appreciate. And how is the church? We bless God, you know, expansion here, expansion there. But we thank God. I can imagine. <laughs> so, how are you? Mm. Pastor, I really, really have to confess to you, it has not been very easy at all. You know very well that I'm the only person in this organization who has not been paid for the past four months. And that has taken its toll on every aspect of my life. My landlord is threatening to kick me out any day. And the children's school fees keep mounting. I've not been able to settle it. So the debts kept, you know, increasing on and on. But I'm not complaining. And, and all that because you refused the offer? Offer? What offer? You refuse to inflate the budget figures? Oh? Pastor, you're aware of that? <laughs> you know, rumors are flying all around. And you know one thing, Mr. Ibrahim? The Holy Spirit sent me to you. Oh, praise God. Praise God. He sent me to encourage you. You see, while I was praying this morning, the scripture in the Bible was impressed on my heart. I'm listening. I'm listening. Book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 17. Oh. It says, Give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God. Oh. You have to give to this company what belongs to this company, and give to God what belongs to God. You cannot bring your church into this company. Take a look at yourself. Can you honestly say God is with you? Can you say God has blessed you? If you cannot think about yourself, think about your suffering children. They have no mother and you are all that they have left. And because of your selfish decision, they are suffering. Pastor, my Bible says in Luke chapter 14 and verse 27, Whosoever desires to be my disciple, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. I have chosen that path of honor. And I'm not looking back. Remember Romans chapter 13 verse 2 says, Whoever rebels against authority, rebels against what God has instituted, and all such shall be brought to judgment. <laughs> Pastor Daniel, have you forgotten? James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God and resist the devil and he will flee away from you. I choose to submit unto the one and only God rather than any other compromising authority. Now I think it's about time you left my office. Now! My good friend and brother Abraham, if you cannot beat them, it's not the same if you join them. On the contrary, if I cannot beat them, I choose to fight alone until the end. Please get out of my office. Now! Shameless pastor.
<laughs> I'm richer than you. I won't allow that. How can you be richer than your elder brother? Don't worry. With this money, I will pay your school fees, pay the house rent, settle a debt, and pay a little bit of shoe for daddy. If you stop that, yeah. don't go there. It's not funny at all. Ah. Daddy should resemble your hungry fish with his mouth wide open. <laughs> Baby, leave that issue now. Ah, uh, at least the shoe is enjoying itself. To so enjoy yourself now, let's enjoy this game. Ah, uh, you want to feed the shoe with your money? Ah, uh, daddy needs to put some food into the <gasps> shoe. <laughs> David, leave the shoe and let it enjoy its own life now. At least it's not disturbing you. How is he okay now? Daddy. Yes, son. You told the landlord the other day that we are going to a better place. Mm, mm, yes, I did. But are we from a better place? Found? No. Are we going to be homeless? Come on, David. There you go again. Of course not. Where are we going to stay? There you go again. I wish I had an answer to that question. I do. You do? Yes, Dad. Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, or reap, or store away in bands. And yet, your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than them? So? Yes, Dad.
I respect you, you know. I love your stance. I respect your decisions. Beautiful. But you are becoming a menace. A stumbling block. And that is why we have invited you into this meeting today. We have two choices for you. Yeah? Is the budget for you to sign? And yeah. It's your exit letter from this office. So, choose one. Mr. Abraham, we are waiting for you. And um, why did you choose that? Hmm. Maybe I need to remind you that you are an accountant serving this company. Sir, I am an accountant serving God's kingdom in this company. And one day, I will give an account of everything he has placed in my hands. He gave me this job and I have made up my mind to serve him as a faithful servant. If he chooses to take the job away from me, then that's his will. But then I'm sure it's because he has a better choice for me and for my future. So then, sir, you may keep your job. It is yours. But let me keep my God. He is mine. Are you done? Yes, sir. Get out of my office.
Mr. Landlord, we have moved out of the house. Hello? Hello? Eh? Hello? Yes, hello? Am I speaking with Mr. Abraham Edward? Yes, I'm Mr. Edward Abraham. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Are you the accountant for the Sherwood Company? I was the accountant for the Sherwood Company. You have a very important phone call. Who is this? Important what? His Excellency wants to speak with you. Please hold on. Which Excellency? Hello. Hello. I am Senator Shegun Badru, the Executive Governor of the State. Hey. Your Excellency, sir. We have been looking for a potential candidate to fill in the vacant post of the finance commissioner. As you are aware, the former commissioner recently passed on. Uh, yes, yes sir. I needed someone who is tested and approved. Your boss recommended you to me. Has he given you the letter? Letter? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Further information will be passed on to you by my PA. Your answer will also be communicated to him. Depending on whether you accept or reject the offer, I hope to meet you soon, Mr. Hebra. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you, sir. Mr. Abraham, you passed the test, and that is why I could recommend you to the governor. I salute you. I love it all. Okay? The world needs more people like you. Congratulations. Represent us well. Joshua! Yes, 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 yes! Joshua, God has done it! And what has God done? What no man can do! God has done it! And what has God done now? Tell me. You just wait, wait! <laughs> wait for the moment. My father is a rich man. He has a tongue should die, but that's not to change. Even with that tonsure, he runs a good race. He's a good athlete. He has gone through experiences, capable of sweeping him off his feet. His faith has been tested several times. But guess what? He's still running. He's still scaling those high orders. You may even ask me how he even runs with that tonsure. He keeps his eyes on his coach. Jesus Christ. My father is a winner. Despite the storm, I will never look away from Jesus. I want to be like him. I want to be my race. My father is my hero. <laughs> <laughs>